Your business needs an app, but what kind of app do you need? Sit down as we tell you the difference between native apps and progressive web apps, or PWAs for short. Watch to the end to see which one is right for you. We're Jelvix, software development partner for industry leaders. You're on our channel, weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Also, use the super thanks feature to support our channel. We'll appreciate it and deliver even more great content. First, let's get familiar with the terms. What are we talking about here? A native app is a software application built in a specific programming language for a specific device platform, either iOS or Android. They're downloaded from app stores and installed on your device. On the other hand, a PWA is a type of application software delivered through the web, built using common web technologies, including HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It's intended to work on any platform that uses a standards-compliant browser. You may think you've never used something like this, but that's definitely not true. The giants like Starbucks, Spotify, and Pinterest have their own PWAs. Now, today, PWAs are showing stunning results, and many people wonder why they should continue to use native apps at all. To get to the bottom of this, let's outline the pros and cons of both options. Let's start with the cost and speed of development. In the case of a native app, you'll need to assemble a whole team of developers. After all, your business must go to both iOS and Android devices, and both versions need to be maintained and updated regularly. All in all, expensive and complicated. PWAs don't have this problem. With adaptive design, you only need one version for all existing platforms. And using tools like Google Lighthouse make development easier and faster. Another benefit of PWAs is search engine visibility. Since it is, in fact, an ordinary website, all the familiar rules of SEO optimization apply to it. That is, you can attract more customers through an organic internet search, spending less money on advertising. With native apps, it's more complicated. You'll have to fight a mortal battle with your competitors in the app markets and consistently develop your brand and reputation. Finally, the third goal for native apps is that PWAs do not require installation. Let's be honest, no one likes to wait. Using web-based versions of apps completely removes this problem and allows you to start using them in seconds. Moreover, the user doesn't need to install updates because everything new is always waiting for him in the browser. Needless to say, native apps are completely inferior in this respect. Now it's time to turn the table and talk about functionality. Oof, this is where native apps take the lead. PWAs, for now, cannot use your contacts, support Bluetooth and NFC. And if we're talking about iOS, even push notifications are not available to them. You gotta agree, these are important features that greatly improve the experience of using the app. And another sore point is performance. Of course, it all depends on the quality of the development, but in any case, native apps are built according to the technical requirements of the platform, using appropriate programming languages and APIs. This guarantees more usability, a smooth UX UI, and most importantly, more variety in functionality. Finally, let's level the playing field. Security is another trump up the sleeve of native apps. This factor is especially true for apps that store sensitive data. Native apps are less prone to vulnerabilities because they can use the built-in security features of the OS. Because PWAs rely on browsers, they lack comprehensive protection. Well, as you can see, both native apps and PWAs have their own distinctive characteristics. So how do you choose the one that's right for you? At Jelvix, we usually recommend starting with a little visualization. Ask yourself the question, who is your potential customer? For example, what features do they need? What device do they use? 
Do they always have internet access? And so on. After all, the user is the heart of any application, right? Then you need to decide on budget and deadlines. If you need it as fast as possible, then PWAs are the obvious choice. But if you're willing to splurge on recruiting a team, implementing complex functionality, and post-release support, why not try native apps? Finally, pay attention to your line of business. Food and catering, entertainment, hospitality, and beauty apps are the most popular PWAs. At the same time, fintech, healthcare, and social media prefer native apps. We hope that with this new knowledge, you'll find your winner and make the right choice. If anything, we're always in touch. Don't hesitate. And for further study, we recommend our native versus cross-platform video. It'll perfectly complete the picture. Also, support us by liking this video and leaving a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button. Bye for now.